Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2019 Toyota Prado GXL. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. We stand at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we go through about 200 vehicles a month. Making us Toyota's largest pre-owned vehicle department here in Queensland. As you can see we've got quite a variety of vehicles here at our main yard just near DFO of Cairns. With our very own showroom over the back there where we photograph each and every vehicle that comes through onto the yard as well. Across the street, brand new part of Toyota Lexus, parts and services out the back and you make your way towards the city, you'll actually come across a second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video, though, I'll be going around the Prado here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale, or any extras that have been fitted to this great vehicle. Start down around the front, just checking out the alloy wheels, making sure there's no scratches or damages. Also checking we've got plenty of tyre tread. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate, included in that driveway price here in Queensland. As you have a closer look, you still got the little spikes on there. It looks to be new tyres that have been fitted. Around the body, just keeping an eye out for any little stone chips, dent scratches or imperfections. You got a little one just there, obviously on the bull bar, not actually damaging the vehicle itself. But as you can see, you got the uh, colour coded Iron Man bull bar around the front and those XTM LED spotlights as well. Look up and underneath, nice and tidy. Have a look across the bonnet, making sure there's no dents or damages. We're also getting great reflection off that paint there as well, which is always excellent to see. Down the passenger side, nice straight bodywork. We'll cover each panel as we go though. That passenger front, again, nice and tidy on the alloy. Plenty of tread with another new tire. And as we make our way down, just keep an eye out for any little markings and imperfections like this one just here in the passenger door. So we do like to be transparent in these videos. Point out these little markings where we can. Uh, at the end of the day, these videos are here to protect both parties. But down that passenger side, nice and tidy. There's still little imperfections. Apart from that, nice strap body work and great reflection off the paint the whole way down. That passenger rear again nice and tidy and looks to be new tyres all the way around which is great to see. Also nice and clean up and underneath those wheel arches. Around the back, you got your proximity sensors on the rear. As you can see it's been fitted with a tow bar as well. Now you've got a couple little minor markings here. Now to be honest we could probably get those brush touched, just ask us how. And also checking out that spare wheel cover as well as these are normally prone to having a few markings and imperfections. But also with that reverse camera is built in, we'll see that in action a little bit later on in the video. While we're back here though, we'll have a look inside. Nice and tidy on the door. Normally a sign of uh, wear and tear. There's heavy scratching and imperfections along there, but as we can see, it's well looked after interior wise as well. You got that cargo mat in here also. And just protecting that uh, flooring there, not trying to hide anything. But while we're here, we'll also have a look. Make sure the seat's still in good condition. Nice and clean throughout the back here. Beautiful, we'll make our way down the driver's side now. Again, we'll keep covering each panel on the vehicle. Nice and straight and tidy, that fourth and final wheel. Great to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle. Very minimal markings and imperfections, but still those couple of minor ones to be expected being a pre-owned vehicle. Right down that driver's side, very tidy, very well looked after. So we have a look across the windscreen, making sure there's no chips or cracks. Again, that is part of the roadworthy. And on the roof, no dings, dents or hail damage. Nice and clean and tidy, and still get that great reflection all the way around the vehicle. The interior now, making sure it's just as well looked after. Just make sure there's no major wear and tear, scratches or scuff marks. Light little markings you can hardly see on the handle there. Like I said, we do like to be transparent in these videos. You got the carpet floor mats. You're not trying to hide anything, just been well looked after. Your rear air conditioning controls and your 12 volt plug down there as well. 
as we check out the seats. A bit of wear and tear on the driver's side rear there. Nothing major, no cuts and burns or massive stains or anything like that. Nice and tidy even along that roof as well. Driver's door, obviously the most uh, commonly used, so wear and tear, it is likely to show up on this one first. So we have a good look over again, just making sure there's no major damages. We've got the carpet floor mats up front as well. And that driver's seat, still in great condition. Just the usual wear spots on most vehicles there from the driver hopping in and out. We'll jump in and start it up though. We've got the two keys. Push button start on the right hand side there. So you've got your window controls and your locking there all on the door cart. You make your way across, see for your start button, but you've got the electric folding side mirrors. Make sure they're both working. Beautiful, and make your way down, you've got things like your auto high beams, idle ups, uh, even for your spotlights. They've added the button in there for you as well. Make your way across the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control, your lane departure and adaptive cruise, and your controls for the little display screen up there, we'll go through shortly. Left hand side, all to do with the Bluetooth hands free, obviously a bit more once the phone's connected. So you've got everything like your digital speedos and your fuel consumptions and eco modes and all that. Uh, the main one though, seeing that it's done 63,285 kilometres, we'll check that authenticity shortly with the service history for you. But also having a good look while it runs, no warning lights or anything up on the dash there. Make your way across, you got the nice large touch screen up here, built in sat nav, as you can see it's all working. That reverse camera shows up out the back, you know exactly where the back of the car is, gives you great vision. And you make your way down, you've got your dual climate control air conditioning set up, your little storage compartment with your full drive controls just underneath. So second start, traction control, centre and rear diff locks, the whole sort of works. Everything can be tucked in, make it look nice and neat as well. But like most nowadays in the automatic, with your 12 volt and USB AUX connections just back here. So we have a look, nice large centre storage compartment. Plenty of space up the front here. No major markings or damages on that passenger side. As you can see, they've got the uh, dash mat as well. Again, no fading, cracking or stickiness. It's just been very well looked after. And as we have a look in here, just making sure we've got all the books. Service history, the main one people want to know about. So we'll have a bit of a flick through. Checking that it's done, 8,500 Ks. Next service there at 20,000 kilometres. Service again at 30,000. Looks like they've always been back to a Toyota as well, which is good. 37,000, 42,500, 46,000. And then we're starting to get a little bit ahead in the book, so we'll jump to the back where we've just serviced it at 63,000 Ks there. Meaning yet, sex service not due till 73,000, so good to see they've been keeping the services up to date. Last but not least, though, we'll jump out and have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running, just to make sure obviously those services have paid off. Nice and easy with the shocks on the sides, but as we have a look underneath, making sure there's no rust or red dust. As we listen to it run, no knocks, rattles or squeals, just that diesel motor ticking over nicely. But that was our virtual tour of our 2019 Toyota Prado GXL. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.